Life is, is like a hurricane here in Duckburg. Race cars, some sing aeroplanes. It's a duck blur. Might solve a mystery or rewrite history. Duck nights. Whoa! <laughs> Every week we upload episodes like nights. Wow! <laughs> Tales of Dairy do bad and good luck tales. Whoa, whoa! <laughs> The danger, what's behind you? This stranger out to find you. What you just fell into? Sound of tales. Woo! Sound of daily soup and good luck tales. Woo! Tales of I'm gonna pay $25 for a loaf of bread. <laughs> Not pony tales, no cotton tales. Oh, God tales. tales. Woo! Woo! Hi, welcome to Bite Nights! <laughs> we're record oh, we're recording, we are. <laughs> yes, we are. What Let's do you think see. we're doing? So, I'm yeah. Amanda. And I'm Lewis. And we're gonna play some DuckTales Yes, today. yes we are. Do you, do you want to start? Well, No, you start because I have a feeling this is more nostalgic for you than me. Yeah, I mean, I already cleared this game twice in my house, but I... What? you done played it? What? Fucking love this game what? so much. What? You did Play it's it's an amazing game. on the hard. I can't. Uh, okay, yeah. I cleared it already on medium and hard, and I was trying to do extreme. Do you know you how much I will die? Sitting. You can't save. The game doesn't save until you clear the game. How long is the game? Uh, like, no, you can clear it in like two and a half hours. D are we gonna attempt this? No. Do okay, you want to just do medium? Let's do medium. What? Okay, we're okay. gonna do some medium. Okay. Uh, I was gonna say, because I'm gonna like die, because yeah. if I remember correctly, Capcom platformers are pretty difficult. They are pretty difficult. Okay, let's give a little bit of background to the viewers. Uh, I freaking love DuckTales. Uh, I, don't, I don't know, Amanda, have you... You, you know the show. I, I watched the show quite often. Yeah. I've seen the show so much when I was a little kid. I had a little VHS and I saw it like freaking crazy every single day when I was a little kid. I saw like these three single episodes of it. And... Yeah, well, <laughs> man, it's just What are the voices? The because the voices, did they get like... Oh, yeah, you, yeah, uh, uh, Scrooge McDuck is voiced by Alan Young, and he does the voice again in the game, in his 90s. He's like in his 90s and doing the voice again. Oh my god. Yep. Yep. Yes, I love this game, it's so great. Yay, DuckTales! So... I, I have never played this game. I didn't play the original. I haven't played this one. Um, I have played other Capcom platformers growing uh, up. I think... Uh, I'm going to make it easy. Hold on. I'm going to go to uh, the options and I'm going to turn hard pogo off. So then it means you only press the X or the B button to pogo. Okay. Whoa. So, yeah. Anka Scrooge. Anka Scrooge! Up here! Whoa, that was just... <laughs> That was quite a duck. Thank Are you, you right, my boy? Oh, oh my god. god. Anyway, so they didn't get all the voices. Like, uh, they got... But they got, like, let's say, the official Disney voices for each one of the characters, because they have it on their Disney vault. Uh, which character is which? Uh, so yeah, they, uh, Scrooge McDuck is the same. Uh, the nephews are different. Um, Magic of the Spell is also the same voice. And... Uh, what WayForward did is they put a new level, and then this whole little uh, money bin level, it helps you uh, understand the game. In which there are three simple mechanics, which is uh, jump and pogo and and whack it with, the, with the cane. Uh, whack it with a cane? Whack it with the cane. That's, that's all you do in this game, and that's why I love this game. <laughs> oh my god. So yeah, that is pretty much our experience in a nutshell with this, and then uh, when I was in PAX, they announced this game when I was in PAX, in PAX East uh, 2013. I didn't make it to the Capcom panel where they announced it, because the, it was too long of a line. Yeah? Yeah. They they had some shit for it at Comic-Con, and I... Yeah. Oh, they had the money bin, right? Oh, do you want to see something fun? <laughs> you see how he's pointing this way? You want to see something fun? I'm afraid. <laughs> I'm deeply afraid what's okay. going to happen. <laughs> Put it in the money bin, lassie. Oh my god. <laughs> I see, it starts already. There it goes. Put it in the money bin. <laughs> what are you doing? This is some... I I don't know if our audience is ready to learn what pooping is, but you know. <laughs> if... Well, I just ruined DuckTales for everyone. <laughs> this is like... 
<laughs> when you say duck tails, you mean some serious duck tails. Oh, tail. yeah, you are getting some, some damn tails, tail, yeah. son. Uh, <laughs> oh, my God. But, yeah, oh, this is... I love this game so much. I'm too, uh, like, distracted by, like, how it's, by like... what's happening? Yeah, because it's, like... Yeah, okay. It's, it looks really nice. Like, it's, like, it's, uh... Huh. It's 3D, your character's 2D. Yeah, um... Yeah, all the characters are hand-drawn uh, and hand-animated. Really? Yeah, by uh, WayForward. And the cool thing about WayForward is that a lot of their... A lot of their artists and animators are uh, Disney veterans. Really? Yeah. So it's a really good fit, the fact that they got uh, the DuckTales. Uh, the fact that they got to remake DuckTales. It makes me so happy. Oh, this game is so good. I love this game. Also, I'm going to start the timer now because I just started. Boop. Wow. <laughs> I don't know. Recording for like five minutes, I think. Yeah. Oh, whatever. We'll see what we do. Mm. If not, we'll just have to go by. So this is these are the Beagle Boys. Uh, I think you remember them. Yeah. Yeah. They... I definitely watched a lot of the show. Yeah. I I never played the game. This was original Nintendo or Super Nintendo? It was originally uh, NES, yes. Okay. And okay. But there was also a Game Boy port, which was very faithful to the original NES. And that's the one I played the most, because that was the one I borrowed from a friend for like two years. And I played it on my Game Boy like a crap ton. I'll handle this. But yeah. Oh, uh, love this game! So, what is it about DuckTales in particular? Because uh, Capcom did many, many, uh, you know, platformers that were Disney adaptions. Yeah. yeah so, what like, is it about uh, this one individual versus like their Aladdin one or the Lion King one or. Well, um, well, as you know, at that time, Capcom uh, handed down a lot of the. Uh, a lot of their IPs. No, I'm sorry. Disney handed handed a lot of their IPs to Capcom, and they were like, "Okay, uh, you make some games for us, yes?" And they were like, "Okay, sure." And then they made like a bunch of games because uh, Capcom was also like an up and coming place uh, back then. Uh, yeah, it was an up and coming studio, and they tried to uh, get by. Well, not get by, but try to get more. Uh, uh, try to get recognized a bit more by making uh, all these licensed titles. Whoa! What is even? I just got the equivalent of a star man. I see. Yeah. So, okay. The thing I like that pe a lot of people like about this is that uh, it has the structure of a Mega Man game, in which uh, you have six. I believe it's six or five. Oh, no, it's five. It's five random stages. Well, not random. It's, it's five stages that you can start with in uh, whatever order you want. And and you tackle them in whatever order uh, you would you'd fit best. So you can go into a level, explore it, and then leave the level, and then go into uh, another one. Shit, go into another one of the levels. And the thing that people like the most about it, other than the fact that it's motherfucking Ducktales, is the fact that it had really tight controls, like really good uh, level design for them. I can see why people would say that uh, some of the level design is a little bit outdated, but it still works super great in my opinion. And I think that uh, the work that WayForward has done with this remake, it's freaking amazing. Uh, I was hearing, I was listening to uh, a podcast the other day uh, where uh, Austin Ivan Smith, which is, uh, who is the guy who directed uh, the DuckTales remastered. Uh, he was talking like how much he when he was a little kid he was like a super big DuckTales fan, and the fact that he got to make this game was like a dream country. <laughs> Do you think it's gonna pave the way for other remasterings? Like maybe I should have also. I really you like um, the Aladdin and Lion King uh, <laughs> Capcom games. Yeah, for I the play, okay. Super a lot of people Nintendo. don't like the Lion King game, you know. Really, I liked yeah, the Lion King. Yeah, I liked King it so did. much, and I was like, uh, that was probably the Capcom. No, no, no. Wait, I'm sorry. That was not Capcom. That was a uh, virtual Oh shit, you're right. Yeah. Uh, they could give it to Capcom, and we'll see if we will. I, I, I liked Lion King anyway. Yeah, I love Lion Apparently, King. Apparently, I correct myself, you are correct, that was Virgin. Um, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, uh, it was so great. Aladdin was Capcom, though. Yeah, right? Aladdin yeah. was Capcom, and it was also Virgil, because they made the, the SNES, the SNES game was made by Capcom, and then, 
uh, the Genesis game was made by Virgil. And oh. they're like, they're two completely different games. Uh, oh, screw that. The Super Nintendo one was where it was Yeah, at. I, I think the Super Nintendo one was the best. The Super That's... Nintendo one was awesome. I remember playing that a lot as a kid. Yeah. I would like to see that one remastered. That would be cool. Yeah. Okay. So... <laughs> <laughs> Amanda, have you paid attention to anything that's like happening? What? what okay. What? <laughs> so, long story short, Beagle Ball is trying to rub me. I said no. Uh, give him a good old one-two punch. In your bank full of hammers, yeah. Of course. And, oh, also the thing about... Uh, another thing that some people liked or didn't like, but a lot of the people liked was the fact that it has like a bunch more story elements. So. There's all these cutscenes where they talk and stuff. And this wasn't in the original? No. It was just, it, it literally jumped straight into like choose the level. Okay. But, the, but the money bin, the whole money bin is like a tutorial level where you learn more about how to play the game. But it's like super straightforward, super simple. And I personally like it because I think it's a really good intro to the whole uh, DuckTales game. And trying to introduce players into the DuckTales franchise, which is super amazing. <laughs> I've been watching DuckTales recently. Now, do you have any idea how this is doing right now, critically or commercially? Uh, yes. Um, I think critically, it's uh, it's been getting, it's kind of been all over, which is the weird thing. Uh, it hasn't been getting like super bad reviews, but I think like I've seen some like. I've seen some five fives and, and O's and like really? them really? and like okay. and the reason why they say it's like for them it feels outdated but but I know the way like Way Forward tries to take beloved franchises and tries to make it great like with the Adventure Time game. So the the thing with, with this DuckTales game it was it was clearly made by fans of du for by fans of DuckTales, for fans of DuckTales, and also for the fans of the original game. So like there's so much stuff that mainly has been put in for the DuckTales fans, like the story and, and how the game plays out like an episode of the show. And and also things like you can actually go into the money bin <laughs> right here. Like this whole office thing was not in the game, but you can like go into the office and he goes like, Curse me, kilts! Money! Oh my and he God. goes in and you can you can turn the freaking money bin! That's really hilarious. Yeah. That that's pretty damn cool. Okay. Yeah. Uh, here's a weird thing, like that that uh, Austin was saying during the podcast. Um, he was saying that it wasn't planned, and that they were approaching Alpha in the game, and and someone approached him and was like, "Hey, what if we put the money bin in? What if we just let players, you know, dive into the money bin?" And he was like, I don't know, man. We don't have the time. We really have the time. I don't think we can do it. But try doing it anyways. And then they did it. And they put it in the game. And, and they were like, wow, how did we not think about this? Because the money went so crucial to, to the integral, integral DuckTales experience. <sighs> so... So that's me fangirling about this game right now. You, yes, you, you fangirled quite well. <laughs> <laughs> now, how do you feel about how this blends 2D and 3D graphics? Do you feel it does it successfully, or do you think it's distracting? Because I'll tell you right now, I think it looks real nice, but I think there's a, for me personally, I see, I feel a little bit of a, like a cognitive dissonance, like about it, like, I, I can, they're, they're different, you know what I'm saying? Like, it looks nice, but I think it takes like a minute or two to get used to, because your character's not yeah, totally, legends, I guess, King fitting in with their environment quite as much as you would expect. And it should be <coughs> ahead. Yeah, um, I personally like it because, well, I like 3D a lot. That's why I, that's why I started to be a 3D artist. And, well, it goes without saying that, that the sprites look incredibly well animated. Mm -hmm. uh, and, you know, I think it, it even looks better than, than the old show. Oh, yeah. Because, it, like, it's crisper and it's, like... It's the way in which, like, they took the Disney veterans' site way forward, and then they studied that animation, and then they did it even better. Uh, then again, it was probably because they had a little bit more time when making the sh when making the game, because when the show was out, they had like super short time to make the episodes and like a really low budget to make the things. Mm -hmm. So they really had to work around the budget and like make all the rubs on their first pass, like get their first pass done really quickly when it comes to animation. So yeah, um, 
Now, do you are the levels redesigned faithfully? Like, are they they're they're put in here exactly? Yeah, as they they're were put in, the in there exactly as they were, but also. Uh, they have it so that they, they've added like a bunch of like little things that would uh, extend the, the length of the levels uh, as well as integrating uh, integrating it well into the game. So like, uh, before in the game it was just pretty much like some of the things was trying to get to, trying to get you to explore the levels. Some of them were like that, other levels, other levels like, uh, like the Amazon, which is the whole point right now, is uh, it's just getting from point A to point B. But now they've added these coins, which you have to collect around the, the the level. You have to collect them. You have to collect. You them. have to collect yes. them. You have to collect them, and so that you'll be able to advance. And another thing that people didn't like was uh, when you pause it, you get the map, and the map points out where to find the treasures. So, uh, but if you play the game on hard, uh, pretty much it's like playing the playing this version of Ducktales on normal. It's the equivalent of playing DuckTales on easy, mm -hmm. but if you play it on hard, it's the equivalent of playing the original DuckTales on normal because uh, you get slightly less power-ups, um, you don't get the map anymore, so it's uh, so you really have to explore the level and trying to get around it. And and yeah, I love the script so much. Oh, everyone should play this game. <laughs> everyone should play this game. In fact, I managed to play this game. Nah, I'm gonna watch you for a little while longer. Watch for a while I am afraid. Get... Right. Platformers, man. Mm -hmm. I feel like I was better at platformers when I was younger. I don't know. I love platformers. Like, because that was the majority of what was out there. At least I don't know what. Because we only had a Super Nintendo growing up, and mo all I played was platformers. Yeah, uh, yeah. I had a Super Nintendo when I was growing up, and then an SNES later. Uh, but yeah, I grew up with Nintendo consoles. I was a Nintendo kid, and I, and a lot of people say I'm a Nintendo fanboy at times. Um, that is partially true, but I later did get my own PlayStation console because I wanted to try out new games. Huh. Uh, yeah, I don't know that I've ever felt that way. I don't think I've ever felt like I am dedicated to this one company, i.e. Yeah. like, you know, Nintendo, yeah. Sony. I don't know, I don't think I've ever been like a specific console fan person. When I was a little kid, I was, I was one of those who was like, Nintendo's the best one, all the other ones suck ass. <laughs> I was one of those when I was a little kid. I think it probably would have been hard to argue with you back then because I think Nintendo kind of... Kind of uh, ruled everything? Yeah, they ruled the roost. Uh, yeah, around, mainly around the 80s, that's when they most ruled everything, and, and half of the 90s. Yeah. That's, it was not until the PlayStation came out that they started to get some actual competition. Right, right, and PlayStation 2, I think. Yeah, the play oh yeah, yeah mainly the PlayStation 2. Yeah, that kind of just shut down the GameCube in some ways, mm -hmm. in some ways. I still think the game... <laughs> I'm not a Nintendo fanboy, but I am going to say that the GameCube was my favorite out of those was three it? consoles. Yes. Yeah. I love the GameCube. It so did much. have some excellent games, admittedly. Like, it, especially some of its exclusives were really. <laughs> uh, Beautiful Joe. Uh, but yeah, I mean, a lot of those games were later ported to the PlayStation, That's mainly true. because the reason. That's true. But I mean, like, a lot of like the ones that they did originally get, I mean. They did get some excellent games, uh, you know, aside from just the regular Nintendo fare, like mm -hmm. your Metroid Prime and your. Super Smash Brothers and all that other. <laughs> You'll notice that I'm doing pretty good at this game. <laughs> yeah, I would not. I think that's why I'm afraid. <laughs> <laughs> the entire internet is watching you. I know, right? All ten people who are watching this show. I'm gonna get some fake gamer girl comments here. <laughs> oh lord. <laughs> Jump! Freaking Pogo over there! That's the kind of comments you're gonna get. Yeah, uh, freaking Pogo. Over uh, here. There's one thing I don't like about playing this version of DuckTales. We have to play with the Xbox controller, and it has a horrible D-pad. Mm. It, it's not a good D-pad for like platforms and things. I'm gonna skip through these. So you are uh, playing with the D-pad. You're not using. The yeah, no, I'm not using the. Uh, I'm not using the, the the stick. I'm more of a D-pad person. Okay. When it comes to uh, platforms, it works. It it works well, but. I just rather use my D-pad, and that's why when I when I get a Wii U, I kind of want to buy this game again so I can play with uh, the Wii U's D-pad because mm -hmm. it's just gonna feel so great. And uh, what all did they release this on? So we got Steam, we got okay. Wii U, we got Steam, we got Wii U, uh, we got PlayStation Network, and we got Xbox Live Arcade. Okay. So you can play it in a crap ton of different places. You usually couldn't get it on PC. God, we sound like we're advertising for it. Yeah. <laughs> 
Next episode of Vine Nights, yeah. sponsored by Way Forward's DuckTales Remastered. Oh god. <laughs> We're gonna play more about this game.